Hi guys, welcome to another beer review. It's a really quite muggy Sunday afternoon. Uh, not really hot, not really cold. It's grey outside and it's just really a little bit humid, to be honest. And Sunday afternoons, there's only two types of beer that I like to drink on a Sunday. Uh, one is just like an easy going, <coughs> you don't really think about it, sort of pilsner or lager, that sort of thing that you can just drink out throughout the day, just kick back, do whatever. And then I sometimes like to have something a little bit stronger, especially if I'm cooking on that day, like a roast dinner, that sort of thing. A nice beer that will see you through, like the start of the day all the way to the evening, so like a higher ABV sort of style of beer. And today... Hopefully this is a beer that sort of ticks both of those boxes for me personally. And it's from a brewery that I've never tried any of their beers before. And to me, they're a relatively new brewery. I first came across these guys at the Craft Beer Festival here in Regensburg. And one thing that stood out to me about these guys is, and as shallow as this sounds, it's their brand identity and their artwork. Not only on the bottles, but throughout all of the materials. I mean, they've got a really great line of merchandise as well. And uh, they just really stand out. And that brewery is Yankee und Kraut, which is another German brewery here in Bavaria. I can't remember specifically where these guys are from. But as with all of my reviews, I will be putting links down to their homepage and all of their social media pages and as well to, you know, information about this specific beer. Because that's what I like to do. Um, I like to put as much information down below just in case my reviews pique anybody's interests. They can check them out for themselves. But uh, yeah, first things first. Absolutely gorgeous artwork. I'm a sucker for hand-drawn design, I'm a sucker for hand-drawn typography, and uh, yeah, really beautiful stuff there. Really nice and vibrant, all very handmade, that sort of look to it. And then there is the Yankee und Kraut logo on the cap. So a really beautifully presented bear, I think you will agree. Now this is the Hopulence which is described as an IPL, like an Imperial Pale Lager, I think, uh, Stark beer, clocking in at 7.5%. Uh, let's see, do, 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 do. just by saying it's a bit, uh, it's like a dark beer. Uh, do, 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 do. There's obviously some more handwritten typography. Like I said, there'll be a lot more reference material down below. And again, the design is just absolutely fantastic so they're ticking the boxes already now i've looked up this beer on like rate beer and it's not really got the best of scores but on beer advocate it's got a much better score and i've said it a few times now i don't really base my opinions or base my buying habits on what i read on those sorts of websites they're a good reference point don't get me wrong but i've had beers from there that i like 12 out of 100 that I've really enjoyed and I've come across beers that are like in the high 90s and I've not really enjoyed at all so very open minded with this one but uh, yeah I'm expecting this to be almost like a crossover of an IPA and uh, sort of a lager so let's get this opened not too much in terms of cannon smoke there uh, this has been in the fridge, but I've had it out for about half an hour, so it's not too chilled, so I can pick up those flavours and stuff. So, you're getting those hops straight away on the neck. But you're also getting like a strong lager sort of aroma as well. That like, lager yeast. But yeah, really nice, fruity, citrusy grapefruity sort of aroma as well it smells good on the neck let's see what it smells like in the glass and that is pouring nice not too dark but not too pale uh, i'm not too sure if this beer is unfiltered so i'll leave a little bit in the bottle so i can add it in in a little bit but uh yeah 
atmosphere in the glass and of course the lighting would have to be terrible right now it's sort of like uh, what I'm getting is a sort of dark orange going on amber sort of color nice amounts of hot haze in there as well really nice amount of carbonation if you can pick that up I'm not too sure and as you saw that head dissipated really quickly it's a thin spacious uh, lightly beige head but yeah, really nice, like, ready, amber, orangey hues. Nice, deep-looking beer. So, uh, yeah, let's see what it smells like. If I can spin it around without spilling it everywhere. That hop character has died down a little bit. It's not as prominent as it is on the neck. In fact, you're getting more of that lager sort of characteristic now. But with like a citrusy, lemony, hoppy background as well. Background? Back note. Not really as dank as some lagers tend to be. And it smells a lot more fresher because of those hops. I'm not too sure what hops are in there. But I'd hazard a guess at some of the, the sea hops in there maybe. Not too sure if there's any um, citra hops going on. Maybe a bit of Cascade? I'm not too sure. I'm not going to pretend that I can detect what specific hops are in there. But yeah, it smells really nicely. Uh, it smells really nice, actually. The hop character's there, but it's not as dominant as it was, like I said, when I sniffed it on the neck. But still a damn good smelling beer. So has the beer changed anymore? Uh, maybe just a slight bit more cloudy and almost a touch lighter, maybe. I'm not too sure. But anyway, yeah, aroma still the same. Smells nice, not too punchy, not too strong smelling, but there's enough flavour there. So let's see what it tastes like. Cheers. Ooh, wow. Mm. You're picking up those malts there. Really nice malt present. Not too harsh. Not too strong. But very flavoursome. Uh, not too sweet either. But then you're getting like an almost nice um, hot bitterness straight away. A little bit sherbetty. It's got a little bit of a licorice character, especially on the back note as it fizzles down. And at 7.5%, that's really the only way you detect alcohol is the slight warmth on the back end. In terms of flavour, masked really well. I'm definitely picking up those log characteristics, almost like... Um, Maybe a Bock sort of characteristic there, like a strong lager flavour. But that's offset really nicely with these really nice, predominantly bittering hops. In terms of fruit notes, it's more like berries. More of like stuff you'd find in like the forests, that sort of thing. Forest fruits. You can actually pick maybe a little bit of cranberry on the aroma as well when you think about it. But yeah, forest fruits. Almost got like a dandelion and burdock sort of flavour to it as well. It's a really nice beer actually. Uh, it's not as citrusy or as tropical. Um, but then again, it's not like a bog standard lager. That's just a really good beer. That's a really damn good beer. If you like hops, then it's not like a hophead sweat dream or anything like that. Don't get me wrong. But the hops that are in there, just take that beer up to another level. And at 7.5%, uh, you could, you know, have a few bottles of this, get a little bit carried away. But to truly enjoy a beer like this, you know, you respect it, you take your time with it. And uh, yeah, perfect for a Sunday afternoon. Perfect if you're in the kitchen all day and you just want a beer to casually drink as you're cooking. That's going to go really well with like a roast dinner. 
Um, it's almost got maybe some slight characteristics of a double IPA as well. So, you know, that's a, that's a point in my book. And uh, for the rate beer score that I'm seeing, this is a top class beer. It really, really is. Maybe gets a bit more tropical fruit as the oxygen gets in there, as it dies down a bit, as it gets a bit more to room temperature. The more you drink it, it gets a bit more fruity in that sense. So there's a lot going on in there. And I'm sure people with a palate much more fine-tuned than mine will definitely pick a lot to shout about with this one. Really, really good beer. Absolutely fantastic. Uh, it's definitely a 9 out of 10 from me. Uh, I didn't know what to expect from this one, so I didn't really have any, you know, things in the back of my mind. But what I'm getting in this is a spectacular beer. And I know they've, I think at this point they've only got a few beers in their range. I know they've definitely got a pale ale. I can't remember what the other beers are, but I will happily pick these up in the future. I could happily drink this again as well. But yeah, I picked this up at Beretta, and uh, yeah, if you're ever in uh, Regensburg, or if you're in Bavaria, visit Regensburg, go to Beretta. They've got some great beers, especially from some fantastic German craft brewers like these. Uh, yeah, very excited about that. It ticks all the boxes for me. It's, it, you know, it's a fantastic beer, well marketed, well designed, and uh, yeah, brilliant beer. I could happily drink this one again. So as it's the case, I've waffled on um, for a bit too long. Uh, I, I'm trying to get my reviews as concise and uh, short in terms of runtime as I possibly can. But when I've got stuff to say, I very rarely talk outside of YouTube. Uh, but when I've got something to say, I just want to get it all there. And I hope the passion for these beers comes through in these reviews. So, yeah, thank you for sticking around. Definitely check out Yankee und Kraut down below. Uh, yeah, I expect very good things from these guys. And uh, yeah, look out for more reviews in the future. And like I said, just brilliant design. You can check out the website. The merchandise is really cool. And I like it when breweries like that put that much effort into it. And uh, yeah, and thankfully, much more effort has been put into beer as well. So, ticks all the boxes for me. 9 out of 10. Uh, if you want to find out more about, about this beer and the brewery, links down below. Check out Beretta as well. Follow me on Instagram, uh, Twitter. Hopefully you'll subscribe for more reviews. And of course, I hope you will join me for the next one. Thank you guys for watching and I shall see you later. Cheers.